What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video, and today we're going to be checking out Monster Hunter Double Cross for the Nintendo Switch. Let's go! Alright guys, so here we are. We are playing Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Switch, and it looks like we have three different difficulties available to us. We have Easy, Medium, and Hard. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the Easy difficulty because I'm kind of a Monster Hunter noob, and everything's in Japanese, so I'm going to do my best to get us through this as best as I can. But as you can see, like, we have all of the familiar Monster Hunter classes that we're all pretty much used to, especially if you play Monster Hunter. All the crazy weapons, some ranged stuff, some crazy characters that I'm going to definitely check out later. Um, but I'm going to stick with what I know for now. And I think this is the Switch Axe. I'm not sure. I think it's called the Switch Axe or the Switch Sword or something like that. But it's pretty cool. It's a little slow but it deals a lot of damage, which is awesome. And plus, you get to switch between an axe and a sword at the same time, which I think is awesome. But this is it. This is Monster Hunter on the Switch in TV mode, obviously. Um, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, you got to remember, this game is definitely also coming out on the 3DS and the 2DS XL. So keep that in mind when you're you know, considering graphics and what they look like. Because for a Switch game, sure, it's not the most beautiful game out there, but for a DS game, it's absolutely gorgeous. However, we are playing it on the Switch. But irregardless of that, the gameplay is what we are concerned about. I mean, I'm definitely a gameplay guy over graphics. And it's nice when a game has good graphics. I don't think the graphics here are bad at all. I mean, obviously, look at this. It's, it's pretty open, it's pretty massive. The textures are a little money, which could be better. But at the same time, it's running in 1080p, you know? It, it's, it's definitely up res, so you're going to see all the difficulties, or you're going to see all the faults in the, in the texture forms themselves. But let's go ahead and just work on this little thing right here. Kind of get accustomed to the combat. Um, I'm playing on the, on the Pro Controller, by the way, here. So let's see if... Uh, it's the first time I've ever actually played Monster Hunter with something that wasn't a DS setup. So... <laughs> It definitely feels a little weird, but it feels really good. And now I kind of feel bad, because I think that thing's a baby. So I'm just going to just leave it alone. Let it run back to its its mom. I think I just killed its dad anyway. So let's go ahead and sprint over. It looks like the monster is in Area 5 over there on the map. If you guys check that out. Okay, there's a load screen. So the load times don't seem like they're too bad. Is that thing really catching up to us? Yeah, it looks like it's going to jump into Area 6 with us. Okay, so who's hunting who here? <laughs> Have I become the monster in this situation? I think so. Because that... Okay, yes. I just got the question mark. So I'm I am now the monster getting hunted. But let's see if I can work our way through this. So if you're new to Monster Hunter, I know that the combat might seem like it's simple and easy. And it can be if you're fighting, you know, these smaller enemies and stuff, but... When you actually meet up with a monster, it's it can get tricky. I mean, it can definitely get difficult. You have to be able to dodge, you have to be able to move around, and you definitely should be watching your health bar at all times because, you know, one hit could take you out pretty quickly, especially when you're fighting the bigger enemies. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I had mentioned before, but this game is only coming out in Japan as of right now, and I just downloaded the demo off of the Japanese eShop with my Japanese eShop account. So if you don't have a Japanese eShop account, you can make one right now. It's completely free, and I highly recommend you do because you're going to have access to some pretty cool games, and you'll have access to this as well, the Monster Hunter Double Cross demo. And uh, it's free. You don't need any credit card information or anything like that. You can just go ahead and press download, and then you have it. And you're playing it um, just like I am right now. So this is the easy difficulty, the Raptor. Um, which is kind of working me. I, I really probably should be paying a little bit more attention. But I'm trying to... Oh, I'm trying to tell you guys about the game while I play it. Okay, so, because I am not as well-versed in the Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter series as most people are, that are probably checking out this video right now, um, I'm just gonna try and not embarrass myself, keep myself alive as best as I can. So, if you guys saw earlier, this axe does have... Or this weapon does have two modes, like I was saying. It's a switch axe, I think is what it's called. So I can go between a sword and an axe, which is really awesome. I like the axe, though, because I think it deals a little bit more damage. It moves a little bit slower, but it seems to knock this thing down. Um, 
which is like the best way for me to attack it because once it's down it's just really easy for me to just jump in there and start playing in there like that and it's really satisfying it's really cool once you do get a monster on the ground like that and this guy is taking a lot of damage but one thing about the series though is that you do have to remember these these monsters these bosses are bullet sponges I mean there's no there's no better way to put it they're definitely bullet sponges um, but that can be a good thing too if you look at it in that it's gonna keep you playing the game you know like it's gonna keep you sort of creating different strategies especially when you're playing with other people which is way how the game is supposed to be played it's how it's meant to be played cooperatively with I guess three other people um, and I'm jumping in solo which is totally fine but if you're fighting a bullet sponge with three other people, it can get really fun because you're sort of working on different strategies and tactics to get his health down as low as possible, which is what games like Destiny um, are really good at. And that's why I'm a huge fan of games like Destiny, and which is why I'm praying that this game does make it over to the West because I would love, love, love to get into it um, with the rest of you guys. Am I really getting a phone call right now? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna buzz that down. All right, so here we go. I gotta keep on my feet because I have, I just have this like fear that this thing is gonna take me out if I'm not paying attention to my health bar. I'm not exactly sure how like the supers work, but I know that this weapon does have some sort of a super move. I'm gonna try and activate it. Look at these cats, by the way. These these two little follower, <laughs> these two little follower friends of mine. These supporters. That guy rocking the little trumpet horn thing right now. Um, I guess they do help a little bit, but I feel like I'm pro probably doing the majority of the damage here. Um, occasionally they'll heal me, but that guy that looks like he's straight out of a Guillermo del Toro movie, like that like little fish tank blue green eyed thing or whatever, he um, he's I guess a support damage dealer, which isn't really doing much for me. But um, if I was playing multiplayer, then those like char other characters would be like actual people, which would be a lot more entertaining for me to play. So this monster is running away, and I need to catch up to it. Just in the other area, let's see if we can just knock him out real quick. Okay. Okay. Back to the other area. <laughs> just get smacked right back into the loading area. Very nice. Try again. Let's see if we can get past him so we don't have to load yet again. Come on out, man. Come on out. Let's do it. Come on. What? Wait, how is he standing in the loading area, though? Okay, that's... That's weird. Anyway, let's go back and try again, I guess. Luckily, the loads aren't that bad. I mean, they're pretty instantaneous. What is that, like three seconds or something like that? Good. Thank you for running out. I appreciate that. This area is a little bit tighter, so it might be easier to fight him. Keep him in close quarters, maybe we can corner him. Man, when he jumps on his tail, like, he really, he can move around a lot. So, you're not completely out of the clear if you just jump out of his way. Because it's really easy for him to just kind of change angles and follow you around. There's that special move. Kind of got him a little bit. Hit definitely could have been better. Uh, how much more damage do you need, my friend? Wow, this one is getting mad. The more I, the more I lay into it, the more it's like screaming at me. Stop. Okay. All right, cats. Come on, cats. I definitely do need some more of your assistance here. I really do wonder though which which weapon works we uh, better or which side of the weapon works better, whether it's the sword or whether it's the axe side. So if you if you know, leave a comment down below, or actually just let me know what what wep weapon you do like to use in Monster Hunter. If you are a dual swords guy or a gun person, drop a comment down below and let me know what your weapon is and what you think I should try out because this is basically what I've been rocking most of the time. He's trying to run away again. We're not going to let him get too far. Come back here. I have a feeling he's got to be getting close to close to the end here. He just keeps dropping after every couple hits, so... Got to imagine he's going down soon. Okay. 
health is still okay. I'm just gonna keep laying into him. I have a feeling it's really, it's like, it's gotta be here. Down. Get up, get up, get up. Is this it? It's not moving. Yes! 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 Monster successfully hunted. We've done it. Thank God. That was fun. That was really cool. I liked it. All right, guys. So that was Monster Hunter Double Cross running on the Nintendo Switch in TV mode. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know how you feel. If you're excited about Monster Hunter, if you're sad that it's not yet announced to come to the West, but maybe it will. Who knows? I don't know. I'm staying hopeful, but definitely check out the demo if you haven't yet already. My time is 8 minutes and 57 seconds. So let me know if you beat my time. I would love to hear what your guys' clear times are as well. Join me in the comments below and let me know. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks, and have a great day.